in love serve one another. We're not talking about hors d'oeuvres and cocktails with a group of friends. This is our school motto, which we aspired to during our time rampantly being educated. A time when we were young and carefree and prepared to passionately adhere to traditions, which meant everything to us and made no sense to anyone else. <laughs> I would honestly just say to wing it. I would definitely tell myself to go overseas to Canada and become a ski instructor. Be yourself, be down to earth, work hard and you'll get places. Don't marry the first one that comes along. Have the confidence to be yourself. Don't worry, it's all going to be okay. No is a full sentence. Oh, the great days in the distance enchanted. Days of fresh air in the rain and the sun. How we rejoiced as we struggled and panted. Hardly believable 40 years on. 40, 40, not 40, no, we're, we're 30 years, aren't we? Club Hall, the nurturing ground of a girl's creative talent. Whether lighting, backstage, production, the orchestra, or those special stars who were actually on the stage. We all felt a part of the yearly production. <laughs> Slow down, take it all in, and something that I live by now, but it took me a while to get there, one good decision at a time. Just be yourself. Don't, just don't worry about it. Have a go a little bit more, get involved with things and don't hang back. Take a gap here. Be brave and fearless. And I think I should have gone and explored the world on my own. Find out what it is that you love to do and stick with it. Max the adventuring and uh, with a bit more wild. School hall, where you could find us on any given morning, lining up, ready to walk in and sit our bums down on freezing hard wooden floors, waiting in anticipation for Miss Parker to walk in. Possibly holding one of those most treasured and elusive of flowers, the iris. Go with the flow and be adaptable to change and not to have too much of a plan. Be fearless, um, adventurous and, and yeah, really just your friendships will last forever. You've got to have faith in yourself. Just live life as it comes to you. Travel the world and be yourself. Be a little bit more open-minded. There are boys to go out with other than King's boys. That if you leave it to the last minute, then it only takes a minute to tell you, which is advice I probably shouldn't have followed at all. Though our numbers were few, sport was approached with strong enthusiasm. As we trained in the wilds, chipping ice from fields, we rose early in PJs to be bused to games in Sydney, taking on teams with multiple coaches. We smashed, dashed, crashed, swam, pivoted, laughed, cried and gave it our all. Always winning in team spirit. A friend once said to me, there are no regrets, only lessons and experiences. And I think that's very true. Just chill out, you know, things will happen in their own time. Just go with it, trust your instincts. It's an amazing world out there, so go get it. It's gonna be okay, just don't take it too seriously. And you're gonna stuff up, but however it washes up, it'll be fine. Have fun, enjoy life. It's short, it goes quickly. And buy a house. Just what the Red Bridge is, I'm not completely sure. A place for reflection? To allow the important teachings of the day to percolate in our sponge-like brains. Whatever its roots or purpose, it is without doubt a permanent fixture in the minds of all French and girls. Woo! Be interested and interesting.
Definitely just be yourself. Nobody wants you to be anybody else. Embrace every opportunity that comes your way. To keep doing exactly what I did. Make the most of every opportunity. Don't worry if you don't have a plan. Sometimes the best plan is not to have a plan at all. Take every opportunity you can. Travel, see the world, be spontaneous. Make light of the silly moments. Realise you've got your friends around you and realise we're equipped for anything. Just say yes. There's so many years in the future where yes is not so easy, so just enjoy the freedom and flexibility and adventure and you can always say no after you've given it a go. I would say to myself, take a year off after school, explore the world, you never know what will happen and be open to any possibilities. The dining room, the most important hub of the school. Our rumbling tummies would await the gong which would signal the teacher procession to the high table. Our growing brains were fuelled on grey bacon, self-sourcing puddings, Neapolitan ice cream and tandoori chicken.